What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Chris Cage, coming at you two times, and we have a showcase video for y'all. In this edition of Hot Wheels Showcase, we are taking a look at the first set of Hot Wheels Flying Customs from 2020, I believe. Now, I do it now... I know you're aware that I've gotten the other sets, well, partial of a third set, all of the second set, but I've never seen this first set, and luckily, my boys, <coughs> excuse me, at Will Collectors, hooked me up. And there is still more if you go out to eBay store Will Collectors to find some more sets if you ever want some. But that mail came today, and it was these eight cars. I'm going to show you what these eight cars are. And I'm starting in the order of what of of how they are on a package from the leftmost to the bottom right. So first vehicle I'm gonna show is the Nissan Skyline RS KDR30. Or Nissan Skyline RS Triple Two Thousand KDR30. As it's also called. It's also called 82 Nissan Skyline R30 as well, but I want to go by its actual name, the Nissan Skyline RS this time no r31 yet i don't understand why they're not making that one but you do get to see this one right here and i think this one should be preserved for more adult collectible themes i mean i love it in the mainline se uh, a segment but this looks like it should be a contendable player when it comes to being a premium and i would really want to see uh, what they would do to this casting right here like the blue on it, your RS Triple decals on it with these Hot Ones wheels. Yes, Hot One Hot Ones wheels. They are back on Flying Customs for a limited time only because they appear for a certain amount of cars and then they ditched it and you start using black wall tires. But it's still great. And there you have it, the first vehicle of the first set, Nissan Skyline RS KDR30. Now the next vehicle is, I have to turn my brightness on here so I can see what I'm looking at here. My eyes aren't that good. Uh, next vehicle on the docket is the Custom 72 Chevy Love or Light Utility Vehicle. It is basically the lightest truck they've made back in the 70s. With your basic graphics right here, nothing on the top. But I'm glad we get to see this car back, or this truck back. I don't think it's a car. But I wonder if back in the day, they could make this into like a little small van thing, maybe. I don't know. And if you hear that in the background, I'm about to play Forza, by the way. Uh, filming this, we're in the spring season, so be sure you get your spring season stuff in Forza Horizon 4. Just to let you know that. It's all red. With your little Z 80s looking pattern on a base, there it is. 2015, this car was made with again gold hot ones. And there you have it, the second vehicle from the set, custom 72 Chevy light utility vehicle. The third vehicle in the set has five spoke wheels. It is a 13 couple Camaro. AKA the 14 Couple Camaro, and they still don't want to use big tires. They want to use skinny tires, which I'm fine with, but still. I actually like this vehicle, and I actually like the uh, presentation of it a little bit. It's, it's a little bit more of a retro feel for back in the last decade, AKA the new decade. If you're wondering, we are in the newest decade, the EST of new decades. But I digress here. I got you have a plastic base here with your skinny five spoke wheels in the front, five spokes in the back. This beautiful blue paint job. Your retro decals on here and on the top right there. And I think that's about it for this car right here. There you have it. The second, or no, the third, third car in this first set of Flying Customs. The 13 Couple Camaro. Now for a casting that I'm pretty sure some of you 
are probably thinking, finally this is back. And this doesn't have hot ones, by the way. This is the 57 T-Bird. Calling out my bestie here on, 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 on my YouTube channel. Do you want this pink car, by the way? Since you like pink so much? Because I know my girlfriend would like this uh, Copa Camaro because she likes blue. But my best friend likes pink. And, and I also know someone else likes pink, too. So, those your pink lovers out there, you want this car right here? Now, can't really find it in targets right now because we're on the third set of flying customs. Which is being bombarded by a bunch of American muscle. But what you think of this car? And by the way, it is back. It is a 2012 retool, by the way. So, I have older samples of this. As a matter of fact, I did show an older sample of a 57 T-Bird in the, um, uh, in the uh, 2002 Hot Wheels uh, showcase video. My first loose showcase video. And speaking of showcase videos, I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but do you want me to do a loose showcase video on the second set of Flying Customs? If so, let me know. But nothing but this metal pink with these basic decals on the side, metal body, plastic base. Obviously, it has been retooled, but I can't tell the difference. And it has basic wheels. And there it is, your fourth casting from this first set, the 57 T-Bird. Coming up to the fifth vehicle in this set, the custom CC9 Volkswagen Swearback. Here it is, in its bumblebee-like colors. This one got the most decals out of anything. Decals on the top right here. They also give it a dark yellow highlight around the black in the center. Which which makes the car pop out a little bit. It looks like a taxi delivery vehicle, in a way. It's, it's not that bad looking. Here's the base of it. Obviously, this has been modified because uh, if you have order of square backs, you'll probably know what I'm talking about here. As you can tell, no hinge. They used to have a hinge on the back, but now it's too double riveted, as you can see right here. Um, yeah, very nice detailed casting right here. Especially got the Hot Wheels logo on the side right here. So, yeah, pretty dope indeed. Metal body, plastic base. And gold hot ones. Wheels. Yeah, those wheels. And here is your fifth of the... Okay, I'm losing my train of thought here. Here is your fifth vehicle from the first set. The custom CC9 Volkswagen Squareback. Now let's go on to the sixth uh, vehicle. Which is Audacious. This is my favorite fantasy hatchback in all of Hot Wheels. I really like Audacious. Very great casting, indeed. I actually like the colors on it, too. Now, I wish they went with the older tooling, but you can only just wish, even though they went with this version right here. I have three versions of the Audacious. First one, if you don't know, the, uh, the uh, spoiler is part of the window interior. The second one is a plastic body metal base, but has a rivet and a hinge, unlike this one. And this third tooling is the one you're seeing right here. Now, I'm pretty sure if these were, if this first set of flying customs was available, I bet this would be the only one you'd be able to find, because not that many collectors would care about it. But I care a lot about this casting right here. Remind me a lot of a fake version of a Nissan Pulsar. Or something like that. Or maybe a Subaru Works D, in a way. But I really like the audacious casting. And plus, I had one, I had recently got one in a Hot Wheels Hall video as well. So you can check out both the Quarantine Hall and Hall playlist for that one. It's, it's, it, is from, it was from the 2021 D case. And it had a Black History Month theme. Of course, we are filming this on this. Of course, this is we're filming this on the fourth day of Black History Month. And this will be out on the seventh day of it. When the Super Bowl will happen. So let's hope your favorite team wins. If not, you can comment who wins uh, down below. I have a battle in the comments section. But this is a really cool car. Really cool decals. Love the purple, blue, and... Oh my god. This is very, this is very great. I just gotta look at the decals here. 
while I was yapping. And the blue window tint. This is a keeper right here. I don't know if it's better than the first edition one or other ones, but it's a top contender. There you have it. The sixth vehicle from the first set. Audacious. Next up, the seventh car from the first set is the 68 Nova. Now, this 68 Nova is the one with the big hood scoop right here. So this is the older one. I can tell by the hood scoop. There are two different versions of the CC8 Nova, one with this hood scoop, and then the other one has a different hood scoop. So they use two different toolings. Pretty sure nobody would care which one they use because it's still a CC8 Nova or Nova 1968, as it was called in the early, in the early 2000s Hot Wheels lineup. It's a bunch of green. Now, this reminds me of those pesky Green Bay Packers. Of course, I'm a Vikings fan. Us Vikings don't really like Green Bay Packers fan Green Bay Packers out here. But still, it is a great American muscle car right here. And I actually kinda like it. it looks really cool. But because of its affiliation, it has to rank low. Okay. Sorry. But I bet you if you're a Packers fan, I'm pretty sure you would get this for your Packers buddy. And possibly have that car in your pockets to hope that they'll probably win another another Super Bowl. Which may or may not happen. I don't know. But still a, still a nice muscle car regardless though. Plus it has your vintage base. Doesn't have the vintage, lo vintage logo on there though. But still. It's green. Metal body. Plastic base. It's got hood temples. Uh, and, and, and a continuous side temple as well. And Hot Ones wheels. There you have it. The seventh vehicle. Of the first set, CC8 Nova. Finally, the main event. The final vehicle of the final set, 71 dots in 510. No brainer. This one was the one that everybody wants. This is the retooled version. This ain't the regular version, as you can see by the front right here. And I think the, or the original tooling had one um, a wing mirror, so I think they cut it off. It's kind of sad. 71 on the side and on the roof right here with, with, with your Japanese text right here as well. And I actually like the color of this car too. That's what I actually like most about this, the color. Forget about the red and blue, which represents the Datsun part of the vehicle and the 71 representing this year. But the color is really cool in this casting. I, um, I used to not be a fan of these old vehicles they used to be like old broken down vehicles but when it comes to the historics of japanese domestic market cars this is an icon amongst many and i'm glad to have it in my collection and glad that it's part of this first set metal body plastic base with regular hot ones wheels kind of like the audacious and that was your final car of the first set. So here we go. What do you think of this set? I'm going to position this tripod. This is a new tripod, by the way, I'm using. So what you think of this set right here? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you have trouble finding it? Or did you find it in the stores? Or did you have to go on eBay? Kind of like me. Glad they get this first set of flying customs, and I'll probably think about doing the second set loose. And when I get all the ones from the, from the third set, it'll probably be a loose showcase too. But that'll do it for today's Hot Wheels showcase video, where we take a look at the first set of flying customs. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you are brand new watching this. Be sure you subscribe and also turn on the notifications bell as well. It's your boy Chris Cage. I'm coming at you two times and we will see you at the next video.